Choosing where to live and securing your financing are a part of the foundation of becoming tiny homeowners. The last step is the house itself. Whether you decide to select an existing plan or go for a custom layout, the team at Eagle Ridge Buildings can help you through the process. Welcome to the good, the bad, and the tiny. A practical guide to tiny living. Part three, how to design your tiny home. Location, location, location. While you likely will not really design the location of your house, the area where you live will influence your home. Most of the options available to place tiny houses are rural. Choosing to live there will immediately require you to think about power, road conditions, internet, and access to essential resources. Being remote means that access to utility companies may not be readily available. That may result in a costly project to extend lines to the nearest power connection. An alternative solution may be to install solar panels to provide electricity. You may also need backup systems to store power and a generator when solar is not enough. If such a critical utility as power is not near, you are likely to have the same challenge with others such as water and sewage. Eagle Ridge can help you design and implement any range of solutions from installing water filtering systems or composting toilets all the way through going completely off the grid. Though you may desire your home to be a getaway, you may want internet access. For some, it's a necessity for work. For others, it's a highly desired convenience. Just as with other utilities, connections for the internet won't be available in some rural areas. If you cannot have lines run to your location, you can consider an alternative such as broadband service from a satellite provider. Choosing to live in a remote location affects how you access important resources. One of the first things to consider is the condition of the roads. Depending on how remote your property is, the surrounding roadways may be gravel. Unless there are other houses close and you all share the burden, the cost and labor of maintaining the roads may be solely your responsibility. Along with that, you will need to make sure you have a vehicle capable of handling the roads. Age and general health concerns both can increase the need for easy access to medical care. While living deep in the woods may give you a pristine view of nature, if it takes you two hours to get to the hospital, you may need to reconsider that property. Unless you plan to exclusively live off the land, grocery stores and other shopping are important considerations. If you decide not to be close to retailers, you may need more storage so you can stock up on supplies. That could impact your living space and the level of utilities you need. After considering all of the outside factors, you have to address where you will be on a daily basis, the inside of your home. Do you like to cook? Do you want room for visitors to stay over? Do you like a big outdoor area? Will you live there part-time or full-time? Asking these and many other questions will help shape your house. Space will literally define your tiny home. If you currently live in a house, figure out if there are any rooms you never go in. Tiny living is nearly always about going smaller and as a result making your life simpler. So, fewer rooms means a smaller floor plan and less cleaning. You are also likely to save a lot of money because without extra space, you are less prone to buy extra stuff. The space of your living area becomes a factor in a number of decisions. That includes visitors. Simply put, you can determine if you do or don't want overnight guests by the size of the house you choose. To have more visitors, you can focus on making space by choosing a larger plan or selecting furniture that folds up out of the way. Going with a smaller space helps you avoid extra guests because people won't be able to stay if there's no room at the end. Going tiny can still provide you spacious options. Eagle Ridge Building's compound concept provides a flex room. With this versatile addition, you can stay ready for guests, have a separate kitchen, or build a craft room. It's also a convenient feature to ensure husbands always have a place to go other than the doghouse. Even after considering all of those options, there are still some key decisions to make. Will your bathroom have a shower or a tub and 
the centerpiece of any tiny home show, will your bedroom be on the main floor or in a loft? Either of these can be decided based on your personal preference or level of mobility, but they both will define key areas in your house. The good thing is that you don't have to make all of those decisions before you get started. After answering some of those questions, we at Eagle Ridge Buildings can help you lay out a floor plan. During the design process, we'll provide you great ideas for furniture by using selections from IKEA. That will be integrated into the overall look we show you in 3D renderings. The design of your home will impact how you live on a daily basis. While there are a number of decisions to be made, addressing those items up front can save you time and money on the structure and decor of your home. Going tiny is in many ways a mind shift, but for a growing community of people, making several little moves has opened them up to large adventures.